Uh, I am feeling good after taking a uh, bat to a potted plant. Um, <laughs> here's why I was so mad. I talked to that potted plant every day. Suddenly, I found out that someone else has been fertilizing it. <laughs> you, get the rest. you guys seen Lemonade? You guys see Beyonce's Lemonade this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Some of you did. Now, everybody... Everybody's talking about it. It's Beyonce's hour-long visual album about Jay-Z allegedly cheating on her. An epic response to betrayal. Beyonce is so mad, I feel like I cheated on her? <laughs> In that I have listened to other people's music. Uh, <laughs> Bay, please don't smash my Audi. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the amazing thing about the album and this movie mm -hmm. is that no one knew this was coming. This is a complete surprise. How do you keep something this big a secret? I think Beyonce should be running the CIA. <laughs> we could rename it the Beyond CIA. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? I say hi. I say hi. I like that. Good to see That's you. a good one. I tell you what, if she protects us good, I'll take her ass to Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. Only, whoa. It's, oh, it's all very innocent. It's all very innocent, John. <laughs> the only hint we had that she was going to viciously attack Jay-Z was when she and her sister released that teaser trailer a couple of years ago. <laughs> I just... I just... I just wonder how she broke it to Jay-Z that this was being released on Saturday night. Um, hey, honey, you know that thing we've having trouble expressing in couples therapy? Uh, let's turn on HBO right now. <laughs> now, I have to say, and, and not for the first time, I totally get Beyonce. Because I have dished out this kind of epic, vindictive revenge myself. Uh, I dated a girl, uh, I'm not going to name any names, uh, quite a few years back, probably about 25 years ago, and she broke up with me. Uh, she took out my heart, she curb stomped it. And so I got back at her. Uh, uh, because we had a joint uh, Blockbuster account. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I canceled her card. Uh, uh. That's how you yeah. do that. That's cold. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. You got to. You got to stand up for yourself. Next time she goes in to read the Pelican Brief, they're like, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> but you've been served. But this album is about so much more than Beyonce's marriage. It makes powerful statements about women being disrespected, especially black women. And I know you have been waiting for a white man to explain it to you. <laughs> the waiting is over. The waiting is over. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> because this is Stephen Colbert, White Man Splains. Now, before I get started, let me dress up like a caricature of a white man. And I'm done. <laughs> now, if you are white, there's some stuff in Lemonade you may not be familiar with. For example, Beyonce refers to the woman Jay-Z slept with by calling her Becky with the good hair. Now, you might think Becky was the actual name of the woman. It turns out that is just a slang term for a kind of valley girl type, okay? And a lot of people are saying that Becky is a reference to fashion designer Rachel Roy, who a lot of people are getting confused with famous TV chef Rachel Ray. <laughs> which is an honest mistake given their names and given Rachel Ray's new cookbook, 30 Minute Meals to Please a Cheating Jay Z. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I was sort of the, over the desk. I don't know what that was. By the way, the girl with the blockbuster card in my story, let's say her name was Becky. <laughs> then, Beyonce takes out her anger at the betrayal using her baseball bat, which in the video is named Hot Sauce, which itself is a reference to an earlier Beyonce lyric where she boasts about having hot sauce in her bag. For my fellow white men, uh, the, her carrying hot sauce in her bag is like how we white men keep Newman's own mild pineapple salsa in our fanny packs. <laughs> And then, 
dig that. Then you leave it in the Volvo, you leave it in the oh, Volvo, I, and it I, goes I, bad. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, you got to get the Volvo fumigated yeah. and everything. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. And finally, Beyonce drives a monster truck over parked cars. That is like how white men wish we could drive a monster truck over parked cars. <laughs> Some things are universal. And I think that about white man's planes, Beyonce's lemonade. If you have any further questions, ask the nearest white man. He'll be happy to explain it to you. <laughs> but you know what?